previews here outside Allianz Stadium where Sydney FC have just picked up a second consecutive 4-0 win, this time downing the Central Coast Mariners. As usual, we spoke to the fans for more. Another huge win for Sydney FC. How do you think the team played? Oh, fantastic. It was a repeat of last week. Both the marquees scored. Uh, Brosk had another a clinical finish, so we're really excited about the season to come. Some pretty good goals. Um, we're doing pretty well this season. We've won by a lot from the um, last two games. The goal by Bobo was pretty cool, how it went over and then he passed it in. Uh, felt difficult to watch, but uh, yeah, we're getting used to it now. I think last week we, we had some kind of like, we had the fight, but it just wasn't there tonight. We had so many fans, so many Sydney fans were there, but no Mariners fans. There's no one backing them up. That's, that's basically it. Yes, Sydney FC's defence has been fantastic. Do you think it's just Vuka or do you think that there's been a great performance on a, on a whole? Oh, it's a good performance. I think uh, our, our new keeper, Danny's outstanding and um, he saved a couple there and I think our defence too, it's, it's, it's really, really good with um, Wilkinson there and everything, so yeah. Um, they seem to be uh, doing what a lot of football teams should be doing and that's playing defence from attack. So you see them challenging the ball even when they're right up to the other side. So they're not giving the opposition much chance to get the ball forward. Do you like Vukovic in goals for Sydney? Uh, yeah, he's probably doing better than Jan Jedovic last season. Now you mentioned Wilkinson. Do you think it's a bit of a concern that he went off so early or do you think that he'll, it's just an, like a knock and he'll come back on? Well, let's hope it's just a knock and uh, he'll be okay for next week's game. So. Oh, I think certainly uh, Vukovic has been fantastic in goal. Back four in front of him have, have been very clinical and... Uh, yeah, and the two midfielders in front of them as well, Berlanti and O'Neill, have, have played two great games too. I like O'Neill, it's my mum's favourite, um, and his hair's like perfect all the time. <laughs> and Broski came off the bench, do you think that's the right role for him, or do you want to see more of Broski? Uh, I think you'd always like to see more of Broski. He's, he's Sydney's FC through and through. And Ninkovic had a pretty good game tonight, but didn't get a goal. Yeah. What did you make of him? Well, his strength is setting other people up, and he's, he did it again brilliantly tonight, so it's, it's just great to watch him in that kind of form. Oh, you know, Brazilian Bobo, I think, uh, that type of style, the um, uh, South American, Spanish style is a really entertaining way to play football and to see that starting in the Sydney FC team is good to see. But, um, you know, you've got Brosk and Polosco and, you know, I think the forward line's very strong. Well, it's, it's great because he's not just finishing, but he's bringing other guys into play as well. So, so far, so good in, in terms of the impact he's having, yeah. I having scored eight goals in two games. Do you think that that's Bobo? Do you think that's everyone working together? Ninkovic? I think it's a whole team working together. Um, Arnie's done a fantastic job with the, with the, with the boys he's uh, brought in and uh, looks like we're going to have a good season. Yeah. I think it's the pace up front. I don't think anyone can keep up with us. It's too quick. What do you think for the rest of the season? How are you seeing Sydney FC go? Um, well, we've got like two two game streak and they're like we both smashed them, so pretty good so far. Well, it's, it's a very early to say because injuries and anything can happen, but they're playing an attractive brand of football and have had two big wins so far, so hopefully they'll be there at the end of the season. I've backed the Mariners all the way this season, but we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Um, you know, as long as we beat the Wanderers, I don't care. <laughs> But, um, you know, I really think they've got a good all-round team, so from defence to attack, um, should hopefully lead us well into the finals. Um, you know, we've got FFA Cup semi-final coming up as well, so there's a lot of good chances for us to bring some trophies into the Cabinet. That's all from us this week, but for your chance to join the conversation and check out more Sky Blue fan news, views and insight, make sure you head to Sky Blue Views on our social media pages, Facebook and YouTube.